Larry at Hagemeister's. We've got a 1967 Alice Chalmers D10 here, customer's tractor. Uh, he had the battery checked. The battery seems to be good, he said, but the tractor just won't start. And he's checked cables and things. He just, he just doesn't know why and he's frustrated, so he dropped the tractor off for us to check out. So yeah, it appears to be dead. Let's go back and start at our battery and do our testing. So this is a, uh, a dual post battery, uh, side post and top post. He's just using the side post, which is fine. And so I've hooked on the top here with our tester. So we're 1283, so it's pretty well charged up, obviously. Uh, we can't see the cranking amps, but let's go up here about 700 probably. See what it tests at. Well, it's got 850, so yeah, it seems to be pretty good battery. So, but yet we got no key power, so uh, let's go ahead and use our other tester. So here's our, this is our uh, test light with a digital voltmeter in it. It's a wonderful tool to check this stuff and see what's going on. So we we'll check down here. Yeah, we got our power. We're hooked up. So our test light showing a negative, which is correct because I have our the clip lead hooked on the positive of the battery. So now I'm just checking the grounds. So it says we got power here, but let's go ahead and see what happens here. Well, look at there. When I turn the key on, it goes away. We got 12.4 volts here, which is fine. We go down here. We got our 12.4, which that cable is opening. But as soon as we turn on the key, it goes away. So I'm questioning this connection right here. So let's take a look at that. So I've taken the connection off and it is clean. Everything looks good. And we have our 12.4. That's kind of strange. Let's turn on the key and put a load on it. So look at that, as soon as I put a load on it, the power goes away. I'm going to say that connection is broke between there and there. I've seen that a couple times in these side post, dual post batteries. So let's just do something here with the connection and verify that I'm correct. So what I've done here is, to my theory, is just installed a strap that's on the outside of this battery. Because I believe that that connection is broke inside that battery which we cannot see. Uh, I believe we found the problem. Let's just see what happens here. Try to start it. Yeah, it starts right up. So that's verification that it is broke. Again, I just wanna close in saying that it was just so handy to use this voltmeter test light to find this problem. And the customer got super frustrated because you know, the battery was good indeed, but it just had a fault inside. So we were able to find the problem and, and of course we shortened up the diagnostic time with using this light.